Hey, what's up, Dr. Lee? Do foods stimulate stem cells? And the answer is yes. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. In this video, we will learn from Dr. William Lee, a renowned physician and researcher who has extensively studied the effects of various foods on health, particularly their impact on the body's natural defense systems, including stem cells. Among the many foods he explores, chocolate, specifically cacao, stands out as a potent contributor to stem cell health. As a special bonus, in this video, we have included some delicious chocolate recipes. Cacao, the raw ingredient in chocolate, is rich in bioactive compounds known as flavanols. These compounds have been shown to have a positive effect on the body's stem cells, which are essential for tissue repair, regeneration, and overall cellular health. Dr. Lee emphasizes that cacao can stimulate the body's natural ability to produce and mobilize stem cells, which can then circulate through the bloodstream and contribute to the repair of damaged tissues. Let's listen to Dr. Lee tell us more about the effects of chocolate on our stem cells. Morgan says that Dr. Lee is the best. It turns out that studies have been done where if you take um, high ch chocolate with high flavanols and make a hot chocolate out of it, and you drink it just twice a day, two cups a day, for 30 days, you can start by measuring your stem cells, and, and this is from 16 subjects, and you can make the stem cell levels go up. This is two cups of hot chocolate, of high flavanol hot chocolate, just twice a day. By the way, all of these patients had cardiovascular disease. They had documented blockages in their arteries in their heart, and they could get more stem cells going. That is a small study, but really interesting to think about. A larger study, 20,000 people in Germany, showed that those who ate seven and a half grams of chocolate per day lowered the risk of heart attack or stroke by 39%. What is 7.5 grams of chocolate? It's about three chocolate chips. Gotta be dark chocolate. Not that much. And you know, it's, by the way, I want to say it's not the dairy in the chocolate. It's not the sugar in the chocolate. It is that natural chemical in cacao. Oh, a quick favor. We'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. One of the key ways cacao benefits stem cells is through the enhancement of their function. Research has shown that flavanols in cacao can increase the number of circulating stem cells, particularly endothelial progenitor cells. These cells are crucial for maintaining the health of blood vessels and promoting the regeneration of the endothelium, the inner lining of blood vessels. By supporting the function of endothelial progenitor cells, cacao helps to improve vascular health, which is vital for preventing cardiovascular diseases and promoting overall longevity. Here is Dr. Lee to tell us more about chocolate and stem cells. And the new, really exciting research that I write about in A2B uh, disease is that these stem cells can be enhanced with foods, foods like dark chocolate. Plant-based food, cacao, actually has the right polyphenols, proanthocyanidins. I'm a researcher, so I know exactly what it is. That can call out double the number of stem cells to help heal your circulation, your heart, your brain. It's quite amazing that this can um, uh, uh, happen. In addition, chocolate has bioactives to activate our body's health defenses and can actually activate our metabolism, as Dr. Lee will now describe. Hey there, Dr. Will Lee here. I am uh, sitting in a cafe uh, in Paris uh, where I've just sort of wrapped up my uh, research uh, for the summer on uh, food as medicine. Um, and I uh, just wanted to share with you something I'm doing right now. A little chilly out. Uh, that's why I'm wearing a sweater and a scarf. It's also raining a bit. Everyone's kind of uh, dressed up. I'm sitting at a cafe called Le Dumego. It's a very famous um, cafe in the uh, 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 six arrondissement where um, this, this cafe is a kind of a literary cafe where many famous writers and philosophers, thinkers actually came here to hang out and have conversation. So let me tell you what I'm doing because uh, I needed something to warm me up. I got, uh, I ordered some of this. Can you see that? That is French hot chocolate. It is super thick, uh, super intense, warm, it feels really good, and absolutely delicious. So, um, 
Let's talk a little bit about chocolate. Chocolate has proanthocyanidins and catechins, and uh, uh, we all know that these bioactives in chocolate activate our body's self defenses, and they can actually activate our metabolism as well. Uh, now, one of the things that chocolate does is it's definitely good for the circulation. Uh, helps protect the lining of our uh, blood vessels, and uh, studies have shown in humans that uh, the high polyphenol chocolates uh, can increase stem cells in your blood vessels that can help you regenerate. And that's actually good for the heart, for the brain, healthy aging, all the the whole shebang. Uh, the metabolism part is a little bit more complicated because it's very difficult to separate the polyphenols uh, in dark chocolate from the sugar that actually comes in chocolate. Now, even this dark chocolate, actually, this cacao has a bit of sugar in it, um, and. Um, Got to be careful with having uh, added sugar, but I wanted to talk about this as a something that I'm actually going through right now. It's cold. I wanted something warming. Didn't want coffee. Uh, had tea already, uh, so I just wanted to actually uh, share with you uh, another way of actually getting down some hot chocolate uh, uh, in the middle of a, of a cool uh, afternoon. Dr. Lee also points out that the consumption of high-quality dark chocolate, which has a high concentration of cacao, typically 70% or more, is associated with these health benefits. He stresses the importance of choosing chocolate that is low in sugar and additives to maximize the positive effects of cacao on stem cells and overall health. The antioxidants present in cacao not only support stem cell function, but also help to reduce inflammation, another critical factor in maintaining healthy cells and preventing chronic diseases. Another thing that chocolate does is to slow down the process of muscle aging, which can help to keep you young and fit. Let's listen to the doctor talk more about this process. Now, the other interesting thing that you should know about is that dark chocolate has been studied in the lab, and it does slow down in the lab the process of muscle aging. You know how as you get older, muscles start to kind of break down and atrophy, um, and one of the things that you don't want to do is you want to lose muscle mass. And so dark chocolate in studies, those bioactives, slow that process down. So it kind of extends the sort of the youthfulness, vitality of your skeletal muscle. That's the stuff that we, we work out with and we need to walk around. In addition to its direct effects on stem cells, Dr. Lee notes that cacao's benefits extend to other aspects of health, such as improving brain function, supporting heart health, and enhancing mood. The combination of these effects makes cacao a powerful food for promoting long-term health and resilience. In summary, Dr. William Lee highlights cacao as a potent food for supporting stem cell function and overall health. By consuming high-quality dark chocolate, individuals can harness the benefits of cacao's flavanols to enhance stem cell activity, promote tissue repair, and support cardiovascular health, ultimately contributing to a healthier and longer life. I find recipes confusing. Here are three easy recipes to enhance your stem cell growth with cacao. Dr. William Lee emphasizes the importance of consuming high-quality, dark chocolate with a high percentage of cocoa content. It's also essential to consider your personal dietary needs and preferences when incorporating these recipes into your diet. Man, I feel like a smoothie. One cacao-infused smoothie bowl. To create a delicious cacao-infused smoothie bowl, start by gathering the following ingredients. One cup of frozen mixed berries, half a banana, one tablespoon of raw cacao powder, one quarter a cup of almond milk, one tablespoon of chia seeds, one teaspoon of hemp seeds, and one tablespoon of honey. This is optional. Begin by combining all the ingredients in a blender and blend until smooth. Once your smoothie is ready, pour it into a bowl. For an added touch, top your smoothie with fresh berries, a sprinkle of nuts, and a drizzle of honey if desired. Enjoy your nutrient-packed, chocolatey treat. 2. Cacao and Avocado Mousse To make a rich and creamy cacao and avocado mousse, start with the following ingredients. One ripe avocado, one quarter a cup of raw cacao powder, one quarter a cup of maple syrup, one quarter a cup of almond milk, and one quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. 
Begin by placing the avocado, cacao powder, maple syrup, almond milk, and vanilla extract into a blender. Blend the mixture until it becomes smooth and creamy. You can serve this mousse immediately, or for an even better texture, chill it in the refrigerator for a few hours before enjoying. 3. Cacao and Chia Seed Energy Balls To make cacao and chia seed energy balls, you'll need 1 cup of dates, 1 half cup of almond flour, 1 quarter cup of raw cacao powder, 1 quarter cup of chia seeds, and 1 quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. Start by chopping the dates and placing them in a food processor. Add the almond flour, cacao powder, chia seeds, and vanilla extract to the processor. Pulse the mixture until all the ingredients are well combined and form a dough-like consistency. Once the dough is ready, roll it into small balls and refrigerate them for at least 30 minutes before serving. Recipe tips for a more intense chocolate flavor, increase the amount of cacao powder. To add a boost of protein, incorporate a scoop of plant-based protein powder. Experiment with different toppings and fillings to customize these recipes. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> these recipes offer delicious and nutritious ways to incorporate cacao into your diet, aligning with Dr. William Lee's emphasis on plant-based foods and their potential health benefits. This food is amazing. Next, watch the Dr. William Lee Club playlist for more information on the Nutritarian diet. Thanks for watching Longevity Deprocessed. Hit like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on evidence-based longevity tips. Share your thoughts in the comments, your journey matters. Remember, small daily habits create big changes. Until next time, keep deprocessing for a healthier, longer future. Let's make this journey together.